Looking for a convenient way to manage your information technology? And you care about security and confidentiality? Watch this 8 minute video and find out, how to do both. A great number of companies are changing, the internal phone systems to public telephony solutions, in order to save communication costs. And the most adopted way, is to acquire an IP Centrix public cloud solution. It makes easy to manage, and saves time to system administrators. But, do really business administrators, and system administrators, know where internal communications pass through? Or even if these communications, are being recorded, some will have an idea, others will know well. But how well, they know the risks involved. Do they know that when an administrator, business manager or employee makes an internal call, this call goes out of the company through the external public soft switch, and only then returns, to the internal destination phone? How can one be sure, that this call is not being traced or recorded? And what about email? A good portion of small, medium, and even some large corporations, choose public cloud providers, as their email providers. They choose them because they offer, some advantages. For example, there is no need to manage physical machines, and one, only needs to pay, a small monthly fee, per employee. The email service never fails. System administrator, never gets calls in the middle of the weekend, because of system disruptions, and no more concerns about disk space or backups. And, after all, as many people think, email is only junk, right? But if the electronic mail, is being managed by a public cloud provider, does everyone knows what this means? Who owns the company messages? Where are they stored? Who are the persons who manage them? And, do we trust them as well? And it's even possible to move back permanently, company messages from such providers? A few years ago, it was unthinkable to lose control, over the company correspondence, whether they be, incoming, or outgoing letters, and faxes, because all of them were stored, in physical folders and archives. Documents such as, quotations, invoices, orders, price lists, proposals, contracts, complaints, projects, specifications, and many, other. So. The following question should be asked. At the present time. How do these documents arrive to a company? The answer seems fairly obvious. It's by email. This type of documents used to be the important ones, and still are today. Moreover, instead of a physical letter, they now all arrive, by email. They are stored, in the email box of each company worker. If they are important, how can a company manage them, so they don't get forgotten or even deleted? Does a company, really own the information and knowledge, produced by its collaborators? The majority of small, medium and even large corporations, store their email messages, which carries private information, in the public cloud. Which means, out of the company control because it's cheaper. And to make matters worse, Technicians working on the public cloud provider, may know more, about the company, than the administrator itself. This is a reality, which many companies face nowadays. Money is the first concern, when administrators make their decisions, and, comparing the costs between managing employees, versus the costs of storing the information produced by them, will demonstrate, what kind of decisions administrators are really making. One should be aware, that this information is the most vital part of any business, because it is the result of every employee's work. In round numbers and depending on the industry sector, if a company spends 1,500 plus euros a month, on employee wages, and 200 on all other associated expenses, such as, facilities, transport, and communications, the total amount, will be no less than 1,700 euros a month per employee. This is below the average of the European Union. But, what about the costs of keeping intellectual property? Secure and under the company control. 
According to the costs of running an IP brick, all in one solution, email management is 3 euros a month. Document management, other 3, 3 euros for process management and 6 euros a month per employee to store and manage all the first 3. So, spending 15 euros a month per employee to manage its digital assets versus 1,700 euros to support them. Why should any company risk to lose their employees' work and company secrets because of 1% of the total company expenses on staff? There is no doubt that the trend is to give up of on-premise data centers and replace them with cloud solutions. But all communications, emails, including documents and processes, must continue to be managed exclusively by the company. The technology and services for a private cloud solution are fully available on the market. So, what choices a company has? And where are these services going to be located then? Will they continue to be in the public cloud managed by unknown suppliers? or private cloud, managed by the organization, or supplier, who the company knows well, and always knew. Companies such as IP Brick provide robust, open source technology, and this technology should be used by all private cloud providers. And because it's based on open source, it has a much lower TCO, which in turn, provides a much more cost-effective solution. So, they are the most balanced, and best alternative to the public cloud. It's easy to conclude that, companies and their leaders, have rapidly changed their concept of privacy from storing information inside the company, managed by trusted persons, to store information outside the company, managed by unknown ones, without thinking much about the subject. And, who is responsible for this change? Clearly, company administrators, considering they are not aware, of the consequences, of such technological decisions, and their impact, on company's assets. Also, system administrators must understand, that choosing a public cloud solution, will make their company, lose control of the most important assets, information, knowledge, data, and secrets. With private cloud providers, supported by, robust open source technologies will be easier for companies to keep their assets with privacy ownership and the required security to know more about IP brick and professional open source solutions go to www.ipbrick.com or click in the link below